Preparation eliminates nerves. There are really only three things you must do in order to achieve any goal in the best way possible. You gotta set a goal, you gotta reverse engineer your plan, and you gotta commit to never skipping a single day. Obviously, you have to set your goals in the smartest way possible, that is smart, measurable, attainable, relevant, time-based. And you have to commit to being consistent through discipline, but honestly, that's just the basics. Like if you're not already doing that, focus on doing that. Whatever goal you want to achieve in life, focus on doing that first. For those of you that are already doing that, I think the biggest competitive advantage that I found in this 16 week long process is to reverse engineer your plan. And honestly, the idea is very simple. You must think forward, but plan backwards. And that's all just a nice fancy way of saying that you should begin with the end in mind. And to quote Stephen Covey on this, to begin with the end in mind means to start with a clear understanding of your destination. It means to know where you're going so that you better understand where you are now so that the steps you take are always in the right direction. So by doing this, by thinking, all right, my very first marathon, I want to go sub three, I started to come up with proper routines and a training plan to ensure success come race day, to ensure that I would achieve my goal. So I had to come up with the best plan and the best routines so that it would become a habit. And by the time I got to race day, it just felt like any other day. And obviously the training plan is extremely important. I was running six days a week and lifting six days a week. And I was rotating my runs with my tempo runs and my interval runs and my long runs. And I was lifting on a push, pull, leg split and all these different types of things. But I think that my biggest competitive advantage towards myself to achieve this goal, this ambitious goal that I set out to myself was in paying attention to the details in my routines. I think that made the biggest difference. And I think that is the main difference between a good and a great race to paying attention to the tiniest of details in your routines leading up to any run every single day. So the way that I managed to do this is that the night before I laid out the gear that I would be wearing on the next morning's run, as well as my coffee, my warm-up equipment, and my pre-run fueling. And I did this every single time, and I got my warm-up, my bowel movement, and my fueling routine down to the literal minute. And one month out of the race, I even adjusted my schedule to do my long runs on Sundays, and I would even start to wake up at 3 a.m. on those Sundays and make sure to start my run at 6.15 a.m., on the dot. Why did I do this? Because come race day, I knew that I needed to be waking up at 3 a.m. for that race. And I knew that the race time was 6.15 a.m. So what better way to practice for this race than going through the exact same process one month out from the race that I would be doing come race day. I was so prepared and it honestly just felt like second nature to me at that point when race day showed up. It felt like any other Sunday because for the past three Sundays, I had done the exact same thing and the exact same routine and nothing felt different. Absolutely nothing. Like I said, it all just felt like another Sunday to me. I knew exactly what I had to do and it felt like true second nature to me. There was nothing more I could have done. I controlled my controllables so much that no uncontrollables could get in my way of achieving my goal. It was just another Sunday. Preparation then eliminates nerves.